Trees can sing. All right, is the cameraman ready? Yes. Ready? Yeah, are you guys ready? Yes. All right. Action! A little loud. Oh, All right. You <laughs> Take two. Action! Uh, Undy, let's give it up for Liz. Me. And now uh, Sharice, you want to say action? Action! All right. Yeah, H this Hagen right. would be heavy metal, and Elizabeth would be easy listening. Yes, sure. Come on. <laughs> she doesn't have to. Right, Elizabeth, you're more easy listening, classical. Hagen was more heavy metal, rock and roll. All right, and last but not least, Casey. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's give it up for Casey. One, one. All right. Now, here comes Chris. This story is called Solomon Records God's Wisdom. Elizabeth. When Solomon became king, he asked God for a wise mind so he could govern the people. All right. Nick, a.k.a. King Solomon, ask God for a wise mind. Mind. Let's give it up for Nick, everyone. That was unbelievable. He wanted to know the difference between right and wrong. He wanted to live a life worthy of the Lord and please Him in every way. God granted Solomon wisdom and understanding. All right, Solomon, God gave you wisdom and understanding. Look like a guy that has wisdom and understanding. Yeah. That's his look everyday that. look. That's how that he looks. Because Nick, Nick is wise and understanding. Let's give it up for Nick, everyone. Nick be Nick. Solomon, through God, tells us how to live wisely in the book of Proverbs in the Bible. God tells us not to forget what he has taught us and to walk in his ways. If we do this, we will have peace. All people can see what we are like. Here, Ken. God in our hearts is pure. We should live in truth so our character cannot be questioned by anyone. When we depend on our own ability to please God, we fall short. If we trust in God, he will do what is best in our life. All right, so Scotty is a guy who trusts in God. Scotty, look like a guy who's trusting in God. Yes, I do. Amen. We cannot rely on ourselves, but we must be humble and give God the glory. God promises that if we follow his commands, we can have God's blessings and peace. Honoring our Lord is more than just going to church. We should give generously of our money and name to God. God cares about us and he will correct us if we do wrong because he loves us. If you have money, you can spend it all and have nothing. If you have wisdom, it can't be taken away. Wisdom is more important than the things we can buy with money. 
Wisdom is pleasant and brings us peace. No jewels or money will ever be equal to wisdom. Wisdom is found in the Lord Jesus, and our salvation is by faith in Jesus. Amen. The end. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, King Solomon. I don't see what does it mean.